Greetings everyone. Today let's talk about Jinglu. Jinglu is a 5 star ice distraction character. You guys probably heard a lot about her because she's quite famous. Both her design and her kit is actually amazing. Here is the picture of Jinglu as you can see. I kinda wish that she comes as a playable model without the blindfold because I don't like her with the blindfold but it doesn't matter because I have I don't have enough pulls to go get her anyway. Okay then let's talk about Jinglu's kit. Her basic attack deals ice damage to a single enemy and gains one stack of new moon. And for some reason she has two skills which one is a single target skill deals ice damage equivalent to Jinglu's attack stats and gains two stacks of new moon. And her second skill is AoE deals ice damage to one enemy and surrounding enemies consume two stacks of moonlight. So there is probably some trick to use the second skill I quite don't understand for now. So our ultimate skill deals ice damage to one enemy and surrounding enemies. Ultimate is also an AoE. If Jinglu is in the transcendent state, she gains two stacks of moonlight after attacking. If not, she gains two stacks of new moon. But probably if you gain some stacks of new moon, she transcends she gains the transcendent state and after that she gains two stacks of moonlight. So what is moonlight stack does? I don't know. So her talent explains it a bit. When Jinglu has 4 stacks of new moon, Jinglu enters the transcendent state and sacrifices her own and her teammates HP to increase her attack. While in the transcendent state, new moon turns into moonlight and Jinglu gains a new skill, Moonlight River. I mean Moonlit River actually. Then Moonlight stacks reach 0. Jinglu. When Moonlight stacks reach 0, Jinglu exits the transcendent state. Sorry for misspelling it. And now the last, Jinglu's enhanced skill. Deals ice damage equivalent to Jinglu's attack to a single target and surrounding enemies, which is probably unlocks only when she gains the moonlight stacks, I guess. I mean, sorry, new moon stars. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. Just get a simple idea for now because we will actually know how Jinglu is after she's released. There is a 100% guarantee that Hunter of Glacial Forest is the one for Jinglu's artifact. I mean relic actually. Because it increases crit damage for 25% for 2 turns. Which is actually interesting with the 10% ice damage. So you guys probably have an basic idea of how Jinglu is gonna be and how her build is. Her team composition is gonna be simple and she's gonna have thin goon with on her banner so it's gonna be easy building her because thin goon is a good character for almost many characters and definitely Jinglu is one of them. So if you guys building Jinglu and thinking of pulling on her, best of luck to you. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe or maybe not after you actually. So, see you next time.